Have you ever done business with a company and the customer service was so unique that you simply wanted to share it with the whole world? You're watching The Bear Pantry Show. My name is Barbara and for over a Hello, decade, buddy. I've been teaching viewers and subscribers how to cook authentic dishes from my home country of Belize and many other delicious dishes from basic ingredients. So this recently happened to me guys and I want to come back and share my experience with this company that I just did some business with. This is not a paid sponsorship. This is me telling you what I just went through. All right. So Jada, our daughter Jada has owned this SUV for the past four years. It acted up the whole four years and we fixed it along the way. Finally, at the start of the shutdown, it went out again and we didn't fix it right away because we couldn't go anywhere anyways. Right. So by the time we fixed it, the car started to go haywire. So we made a plea here on this channel to ask if anybody could send somebody to help us, but nobody knew anybody. So it just sat there some more and it was causing me a lot of distress because we registered the car last year, May, but we couldn't get it smog because it couldn't move. And now here comes May coming again. I'm taping this in March. May is coming again. It's going to have to be registered again. And I don't want to register a car that's not moving and we needed to make a decision. So a friend of ours finally was able to come up and take a look at the car. He and Joe tore our whole car apart to get to what the problem was. And then we had to take him back home, which is 50 miles away. So he was going to come back the next day to try to finish up the job. On the way back home, the stress overwhelmed me that I just told Joy, I said, I'm near tears because I want to get rid of this car so bad. So I texted Jada and I said, can I sell the car for scrap? And Jada goes, go ahead, mommy, and take the money for all the troubles you have went through, right? So I went online because I was in the back seat riding in the car and I Googled what companies buy scrap cars near me. Now they have a bunch of uh, wrecking yards around here, but you know, I just didn't want to deal with them. I wanted to see if somebody could just come and get it, right? So another company came up, I called the number and they played some elevator music. So I hung up and then I saw this next one came up second in the search. Wheelzy.com, W-H-E-E-L-Z-Y.com. I'll put it in the, in the description for you guys, all right? So I filled out everything online and they asked you stuff like the year, make and model of the car. They asked you the mileage. They asked if the car had damage to the front, back side, whatever. They asked um, if the car had tires and if the tires were inflated. Now, I still don't know why they asked that question, but that was very important throughout the whole process that the that car had four inflated tires. All right. So then right at the end of me filling out, you know, filling in all the blanks, I got an offer for three hundred and ninety five dollars, which I thought was fair for a 2003 SUV, because all the people that go by here, they want to offer you like two hundred dollars, a hundred dollars for the car. So I know that if we had fixed what was wrong, if we put like another $300 into the car, it could have been fixed. But because we had put so much money into it already and Jada didn't want it, Jada says, even if it's fixed, I don't want it because I know it's going to fail me again. So many times this car failed her in the past. You know, I have footage right here where we went to go at this job she was doing when she parked on a hill, the car wouldn't start. Something with the gas tank, you have to coast it down the hill. We didn't know we had to go rent a thing from U-Haul, go push that, that car heavy. That rendezvous car is heavy, right? Push that on the thingy, bring it home. We push it off. The car was going up. We've had some, some moments with this car, right? So we wanted to get rid of it. Filled it out, three ninety five. dollars uh, They texted me within two hours to see if I was still interested. And they said, you know, the car is kind of old, so we can't offer you more, but are you still interested? Well, I didn't answer because I really wanted to talk face to face with Jada. So when she came home, we talked. She said it was fine. The next day they called me. Nine o'clock in the morning, they called me. And they were so pleasant on the phone. So I listened and I said, you know, I want to sell the car, but honestly, I wanted to like research the company a little bit more, right? So then I said, my daughter's interested in selling it. Is the offer still $3.95? And they said, matter of fact, we'll run it up to $400. And I said, okay, cool. So Jada says, go ahead. So we made the appointment for them to come the next day between 9 and 11. And we were off on our way. My stress was kind of coming down on the bike ride that day. They called me at 10 o'clock because I had spoken to them like around nine. And they said, can we come to day better at noon? I said, yes. So we ran back home after our ride and we got the key ready, the pink slip, because that's all they need is a key and the pink slip. And the guy came exactly on the dot of noon. They didn't have me sitting there waiting. The guy was so professional. From the guy that I spoke to on the phone, the first person who called and spoke to me and said, are you still interested? He passed me over to another guy. That other guy was professional to every step of the way. Very friendly, very sweet to talk with on the phone. His name is Mauricio. And, you know, very cool dude. We 
you know, sealed up the deal. They sent me an email right away to show that the deal is sealed. It's going to be cash. When they get here, the money's not going to go down, you know, because people do that stuff, you know. They'll come and then magically, oh, no, the car is not worth the money we offered you on the phone, right? They didn't do none of that. The guy that came was Saul. I remember their name because they have strong Hispanic names, right? And he was professional. He signed up that pink slip with Jay that they put the appropriate name to go. It's not like when these people go by and they want you to put it in their dead mama name and their son name. And Oh no, it was none of that. It was professional through and through. They gave an invoice. They gave cash money. Um, he filled out the pink slip. He had a shoot you know, with the phone, everything that we had so we don't miss anything. And he put that truck, the SUV on with, with the wench and wheeled it up on that truck. And wee that thing went down the street. It was the beautifulest sight that I ever saw <laughs> for the thing to go. And you know, it, it's such a scary experience to deal with selling a car because so many people are so shady. And I did, I'm gonna tell you a secret. I did Google the company at, when I was talking to Mauricio on the phone, I was Googling and they didn't have any negative reviews and I was like this is so cool I was like at peace with doing this so I had to come give you guys I'm not even gonna post this at Bear Pantry Talk where it's gonna get few views I want to post it here on my cooking page so that you guys can see that this company is legit I'm very pleased with the experience I had with them and if you know anybody who wants to sell their car for scrap and you want the stress to be off of your head contact them please tell them that I sent you you know they don't know that I'm gonna be doing this they asked me to do a written review if I had a positive experience with them I already did that right away because when I deal with people and I have a positive experience I want to share it with the whole world likewise when they screw me over I want to share it with the whole world too in a different light though right but in any case this is a great company I had a wonderful experience and I hope that you will consider them if you're trying to sell your car for scrap so remember if you want to become a sponsor to the show or if you have a show idea please hit me up at this email address below bearpantryshow at gmail.com remember to like share subscribe and leave me a comment especially if you've had dealings with wheelsy before all right so i'll see you guys in the next upload bye remember guys we are not buying this book Pick up a copy of this book instead. Beans and Rice Volume 2 is the only Belizean cookbook backed by The Bear Pantry Show. Take a look at all these wonderful recipes you'll find inside the pages. Not interested in Belizean dishes? Then the pantry laid bear with these better than restaurant quality comfort foods might be the perfect book for you. Only need a small batch or a meal for two? Then pick up a copy of No More Leftovers. Each book has many choices of delicious dishes from basic ingredients.